Hi there, and welcome to video six, which are uh, a vi which is a video on the exam questions that have come up in AQA Unit Three Higher on the quadratic formula. Now you should have watched video five, which explained how to do the quadratic formula, and you should have some revision cards. Now I would like you to pause the video when I show you the exam question, have a go yourself, and then watch me work through the answer, checking you got it right. And there are two of these questions to do. So, I'm going to show you the question, after 10 seconds I'll start talking through, but pause the video yourself, have a go, and let's see if you can get the correct answer. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this now. It says solve the following equation, give your answer to two decimal places. Okay. Um, you should know by now, decimal places indicate maybe quadratic formulas going on. You've got x squared, x's, uh, numbers, and it's equal to zero. So it's the quadratic formula that's in play here. Okay, you turn to the front of your formula booklet, and you uh, write down the quadratic formula is there given to you in the formula booklet. Now, that you start off by working out b squared minus 4ac. But before you do that, you label your a, b, and c. a is 2. B is negative 5, be very careful here, and C is negative 5. C is negative 5. So let's start off by working out B squared minus 4AC. Okay, that means that's negative 5 all squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5. Now, negative 5 squared means minus 5 times minus 5, which is positive 25 minus 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. So you get 25, subtract negative 40, which is 25 plus 40, which is 65. And then state b squared minus 4ac, the square root of it must be square root 65. And we're nearly here now. Now just substitute into your quadratic formula. On the one hand, x is negative b, well, b is already negative 5, so negative negative 5 must be positive 5, plus this stuff, which is the square root of 65, all over 2a, which is 4. And on the other hand, x is uh, 5 minus the square root of 65, all divided by 4. Type it into your calculator, as we've talked about in the videos. So you get 5 plus root 65 equals, divided by 4, you get 3.27 to 2dp, 3.27, and 5 minus root 65 equals, divided by 4, you get negative 0 0.77, so negative 0 0.77, and hence write your answers in here, 3.27 and negative 0 0.77. Okay, and done. Okay, again, I'm going to show you another question. After 10 seconds, I'll work through it, but you pause the video, have a go, and then check you got the right answer. Okay, so working through this, solve the quadratic equation. They tell you it's a quadratic equation. It's got x squared, x's, number, and already it's equal zero, so that's great. Give your answer to 2dp, so you think, formula booklet. So in the formula booklet, you go to the front, and there is the quadratic formula. Now, step one, label your a, b, and c. Your a is number in front of x squared, which is 1. Your b is 5, and your c is negative 3. Work out b squared minus 4ac first. b squared minus 4ac. Well, that's 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 3. Well, 5 squared is 25. Subtract 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And 25 subtract negative 12 is 25 plus 12, which is 37. So the square root of b squared minus 4ac is therefore square root 37. OK, we're nearly there. Now sub in to our quadratic formula. On the one hand, x is negative b, so negative 5 plus 
the square root of 37, all divided by 2a, which would be 2. And x is minus 5 minus the square root of 37, all divided by 2. Tap it into your calculator and get the answers both to two decimal places. So check you can do that, but I got minus 5 plus square root 37 equals divided by 2. I got uh, 0.54 and minus 5 minus square root 37 equals divided by 2 minus 5.54. So minus 5.54. And then my two answers, 0.54 and negative 5.54. And we're done. Okay, uh, next then, there's one more question. Pause the video, have a go yourself, see where you get to on this. It's slightly trickier, but not that much if you just think about things and you listen to the video tutorial previously. Well, have a go and I'll start going through it in 10 seconds. Here we go. Okay, so let's have a go through this. KT is using the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equations. After correctly substituting her values, i.e. Her, e., her A, B and C, she gets this. What equation was she trying to solve? Well, the quadratic formula is given in the formula booklet and it, it's x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. Now, after she substituted her a, b, and c into this, she gets this, with these numbers. So all we've got to do is try and work backwards and work out what a, b, and c must have been, and then we can write the quadratic equation from which it came. Now look at the bottom, the denominator. The denominator is 4. The denominator on the quadratic equation is 2a. So 2a must be equal to 4, and that tells us that a must have been 2. Okay, that was good. That was a nice, easy start. Now, the next thing, negative b is 7. Negative b, okay, here, must equal 7. So what's b? Well, b must be negative 7. b had to be negative 7. So when you substitute it in here, negative negative 7 would have given you the plus 7. So we've got our a and b. Now, question is, what's c? Well, look, 49 minus 72, the 72... We've got a minus here and a minus here. The 72 must be just 4ac. So 4ac must equal 72. But we already know that a is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. So 8c must be 72. And c must be 72 divided by 8, which is 9. So c must be 9. Now we know this solved a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So our quadratic equation must have been 2x squared, okay, minus 7x's, because b was minus 7, plus 9 equals 0. Okay, then it says, explain why Katie will not be able to find any solutions. Well, look up here at what her uh, x's were when she substituted in. Look in particular inside the square root. 49 minus 72 is negative 23. And we said that you can't take the square root of a negative. So we, we would write can't square root negative, so no solutions, so no solutions. And that's all they wanted there. They just wanted you to spot that the b squared minus 4ac was negative, and so you couldn't work it out. Okay, I hope you found that useful in your revision for unit three higher, and in particular, the quadratic formula. Thank you for watching.